And joining us now is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi. Dr. Nandi, what are some of those symptoms of E. coli? Yeah, so Mike, it can really vary depending on the strain of the E. coli causing the infections. Typically, folks experience severe stomach cramps and diarrhea. Anybody who's had E. coli knows about this. It can be bloody or watery diarrhea. And some individuals actually can have low fever and vomiting. These symptoms, uh, they happen for about three to four days after exposure to the bacteria. Now, this is important to hear. Infection can be more severe for young children under five, adults 65 and older, and those with weakened immune systems. So you gotta watch out for that. Yeah, definitely does not sound very nice. How long can it live in your body? It's so like it can, E. coli can live and persist in your body for about five to 10 days. Most infected individuals recover within a week, although symptoms can really last longer in some cases. Super important to monitor your symptoms and seek medical attention if you experience the following, diarrhea, or vomiting lasting more than two days, bloody stool or urine, fever over 102 degrees Fahrenheit, signs of dehydration. Then there's this more serious health condition, Mike, called hemolytic uremic syndrome. And, and the symptoms can be little or no urination, swelling, unexplained bruising, unusual bleeding, extreme fatigue, or decreased kind of awareness. Any of those happen, you gotta see a doctor right away, but you gotta stay on top of this. It can be serious to some folks, and but at the very least, it can be a huge bother and, and, and be bothersome symptoms, I mean. Oh, for sure, and thank you for putting that on our radar and definitely something to watch out for, especially if you were swimming in any of those bodies of water. Thank you for joining us tonight, Dr. Nandy. My pleasure. All right, Glenda, turn it over to you.